the chairman of the Nigerian National League, uh, George Alu, joins us live at this time. Uh, George, it's great to see you once more. It's been a while. Uh, thanks for joining us on the show. Thank you very much, uh, Matthew Okube. You guys are doing a good job uh, at Sportsville there. Eh? I really miss everybody out there. Yeah, the countdown to the month of June, uh, the NNL Super 8 in Enugu. Talk to Nigerians uh, on the preparedness and what should football fans expect. Thank you very much. I must tell you that uh, we are fully, fully prepared for this one. And uh, you know that uh, initially the Super 8 would have taken place from May 23 to 30. But we had to align our calendar with the that of Nigeria Football Federation. So because of the Federation's Cup, the round of 32 matches, we had to move uh, the Super 8 to June, June 7 to 14. And everything is set. And to show you that we are really set, we had a meeting on Wednesday, that is uh, Wednesday last week, with the eight clubs that have qualified for the Super 8. We did the draw here at our secretariat in Abuja, and we told the clubs what we expect of them. And at the end of the day, we equally presented kits, bibs and balls, the match balls that will be using the Super 8 to the eight teams. And the eight teams, already know you already know them, Sokoto United, Sporting Supreme of Abuja, uh, Nasarawa United, Air Academy, Inter Lagos, Ikurudu City, Madiba. These are the eight teams that have qualified for Super 8. And they were all present at our secretariat here in Abuja, where we presented balls to them and other kids and told them that we, are, we plan to do a Super 8 that Nigerians will be proud of. Lagos has always been the place when it comes to Razmatas, Lagos, Abuja, and uh, football fans would have expected that you bring this to Lagos. Uh, why the choice of Enugu? Talk to us. Okay, no, uh, uh, Matthew, let me tell you, Enugu is a perfect venue for Super 8. When the governor of Enugu State came on board, uh, uh, His Excellency Peter Amba, he made sure that Enugu uh, Rangers returned home. You know, before now, Rangers were playing for two seasons at the Oka City Centre. But the governor took swift action to make sure that Rangers returned home. So we we'll have the Nandiazik West Stadium, the one they call the Cathedral, as the venue for the for the games. And then the simultaneous game that we we'll play, the, uh, the other venue is uh, the Unique uh, Temporary Stadium in same, same uh, in Enugu. So it's a perfect place to take football. And you know that Enugu is one of the traditional places when you talk about football in uh, Nigeria, just like you talk about Kanu, you talk about Ibado, and then you talk about Enugu. Well, you talked about Lagos. Matthew, it will trust you to know that uh, there are no venues, there are no facilities in Lagos where you can even play football at the moment, apart from the Mogolaji Johnson Arena, MJA. Even our last league game, we found it difficult to get a venue where Intercity will play Ijebu United. At some point, we're almost moving that game out of Lagos to Ibadan because the only facility that is available for NNN and MPF games in Lagos is the Mobility Johnson Arena. And that place, last weekend, it could do City play Giant Brilla there. So we are not lost as to where we play the other game. The Slim Balebu Stadium is not available. The Agege Stadium has since been abandoned by the state government. So... My appeal is that Lagos State Government should do something about the facilities in Lagos as the center of excellence. Because as we speak now, there are chances that two Lagos teams may even qualify for MPFL from NNL. Because we have three teams coming to Enugu from Lagos. That is Madiba, Ikrodu City, and Inter Lagos. Matthew, the question we should be asking ourselves is if two Lagos teams eventually make it to the Super 8 to join Sporting Lagos, where would they be playing? With just one venue available to profession for, for, for professional football in Lagos. So my appeal to the Lagos State Government as the center of excellence is something for them to do something about the facilities in Lagos. It is not good enough that a city like Lagos, that prides itself as the center of excellence, has just one stadium available for professional football. Any good that we are talking about now that we are going to, we have the Indian Diaziki West Stadium, the cathedral, and then the University of uh, Suka Unique Stadium, the one they call the Unique Temporary Stadium, as another venue. Two good venues available for NNL uh, Super 8 playoff. For us, we are taking the Super 8 to a venue that is perfect, a venue that is ready to host the best of football in NNL from June 7 to 14. 
Wow, George, we've been following proceedings since uh, you were made. You were started with the responsibility to run the National League. Uh, talk to Nigerians, your first experience. How will you describe the journey thus far? Uh, thank you, Matthew. The journey has been rough, but uh, we will give God the glory that uh, we are living up to the expectation of uh, Nigerians, especially the people who gave, this, gave us this responsibility. You know that uh, before now, the domestic league uh, has faced a lot of challenge. But when the incumbent president of NFF, like Ibrahim Guso, came on board, he decided to pick credible Nigerians who he believes can do the job, both at the MPFL, NNL, the, the Women's League, and the, the, the uh, Amateur League. So you can see it that there is remarkable improvement in NNL, the same thing in MPFL and the Women's League. We are following that we are following our calendar religiously, and this is because of the support we are getting from the president of the Football Federation, Elijah Ibrahim Guzo. So for us, before we came on board as a board, they called the NNL uh, Cash and Carry League. I would change that narrative. We've, and uh, it was a league where uh, you you don't uh, get to win on the road. We changed all that narrative as a board. Go and check the statistics this year. The number of uh, clubs that won on the road is massive. The number of goals that have been scored is massive. So we've changed everything about uh, the face of the league. We've rebranded it. And for the first time, mind you, in over 10 years, this is the first time that referees indemnities have been taken care of from day one until the last game of the season. So we are not leaving uh, uh, the, uh, the home team to take care of referees indemnities. And all of this we achieved with the support of the Nigerian Football Federation. Thank you very much for your time, George. We'll continue to follow proceedings. The Super 8 will definitely give Nigerians plenty to save as far as the best of football at that level is concerned. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate this. And uh, I must tell you that you guys, it's possible in my absence, you are doing a very good job. Kudos to yourself, to Tony Bani, and every member of the house.